can a side chick be good? How can a baby mama be good? So my question for us we are discussing today is, as I invite you to my meal, is it difficult to be a side chick and a baby mama? Is it difficult? Now we have moved to our main topic. That maximum the next 22 minutes will end. Is it difficult to be a side chick? Is it difficult? Now you understand that the standard of operating within the atmosphere of anger. The Marot case in Accra saw the woman breaking the glass, slashing the face of a baby mama because she was angry. I know by this time she will be regretting for her actions because the said person was in the space with a title, either a side chick or a baby mama. So, is it wrong to be a side chick? Oh, my Clarice. Welcome, girl. Food for thought. We are eating and we are advising. Drink ginger honey chips in Coca-Cola. And drink some milo alongside. You know what it means? Good food depends on your pocket. Clarice, you are welcome. So we just tweeted our motivation managing anger. Clarice, you have to go and watch back. But we are now on the topic. Is it difficult to be a side chick and a baby mama? I want wives on this page to come and write to me genuinely. How will you react? To a side chick in your marriage genuinely what will be your reaction or better still if a friend have told you about what they did when they found out that there was a side chick in their relationship what was their their reaction can you can write to us we're learning so I'm saying that is it difficult to be a side chick and a baby mama? If if it's difficult, let's 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 judge all. Is it difficult? The the so my auntie is asking, what's the difference between a side chick and a baby mama? So this is where I am coming straight to the answer. Who is a side chick? A side chick is any woman or any female having a relationship with a married man. Once you are having any relationship sexually involved or materially involved with a married man, you become a side chick. And we, con we, we coined the word side chick from the original definition from the Bible called concubine. So concubines are side chicks because a concubine is a lady going out with the married man or having a relationship with the married man and there is no portion in the bible that god was against side chicks so every side chick is blessed and highly favored by god say amen all side chicks on the page so i'll be fine side chick for my auntie are you a side chick don't answer will you want to be a side chick so so hear this. One of my sweet girls was sharing with me a story on Facebook that a woman discovered that their husband was having a side chick and had time for the side chick. And she was worried as a wife. So she went straight to the husband and told the husband that, Husband, I want you to take me as your side chick and a wife at the same time. And the husband agreed according to the story. She's not on the page. Like she, she might testify to that story. Maybe most of you have seen on Facebook. So she became the girlfriend of the husband based on the request because she saw that the husband had too much time for the side chick. 
counselor, this one there. I don't know which way I say this one there. <laughs> so the first night, the husband said, then this is what you have to do as a side chick. Meet me at so so and so hotel. Then she went dressed like a side chick. So there's a way a side chick dress. There's a way a wife dresses. Know who a side chick is. So in the category of women in the life of a man, if you are with a man and you, you are a lady friend to a man, then you are a girlfriend. The two of you are friends. Platonic friends. No amorous touch. No kissing. No caressing. No spending. Nothing happens between the two of you. You, you are really strictly friends together. Like the way I am with some of you watching me right now. Strictly friends. So you are a girlfriend because, unfortunately for you, you are a female. Female. So you are a girlfriend. The other woman in the life of a man who is not just a girlfriend is somebody who is indulging in sexual intercourse with the man. Once the man is not married and the two of you are no more platonic friends, but you have trans, you have transmogrified friendship into sexual benefit, then you become a sex mate. You see? So a sex mate is another woman in the life of a man. Let's have fun and go. They are not the same category. So a girlfriend, the right of a side chick is highly revered than the right of a girlfriend. I will give more attention to my side chick than my girlfriend because there's no much benefit from a side chick, from a girlfriend as compared to a side chick. So, if you are not a girlfriend and a guy is having sex with you, once the guy is not married, you are not a side chick, but you are a sex mate. You only become a side chick and have the blessings of God when you are going out with a married man. I hear so many theories, so many lectures. I'm not saying it's a lie. I won't challenge it. Knowledge is not in one man's head. But the level of fear, insult, bastardization, ridicule, curses that we release on side chicks, it doesn't work. The law of karma doesn't work when it comes to side chick and wife issues so growing up i remember a statement that was made in one seminar i attended they say if you sleep with somebody's husband somebody will sleep with your husband too then here i am i find so many women who married us virgins i'm saying this with on record that women who entered into marriage without sleeping with anybody they were virgins not masturbating virgins the hermen was intact if broken there was broken by exercise these women have husbands genuine husbands who maybe were also virgins today the way they are sleeping with their husband is like a mop being used in the restaurant. So if you sleep with somebody's husband, they will sleep with your husband too. These people have not slept with anybody's husband. But see the way they are using their husband like a mop in a restaurant. So that statement, that when you sleep with somebody's husband, they will sleep with your husband too, I declare it null and void. It's not true. The same way they say when you sleep with somebody's husband, you're under a curse. It's a lie. It's not true. People own businesses today. Some of us are working for some companies today. Some of us are, are, are under some ministries that people are overshadowing us. Some of us are living with some particular industries and some monies from women 
who became what they are because they were psychic to some influential, sensible men who took care of them. If not because of somebody's husband, somebody who is a doctor today could have not gone to school. So where is the case? I'm not here to encourage you to go and look for somebody's husband. That's not what I'm saying. So don't get me wrong. But I'm here to tell you that is it difficult to be a side chick at all? And a baby mama. So the first thing is that you are a side chick because you are going out with a married man. That's all. Evelyn says a side chick with the blessing of God. Pa, boy. Let me tell you. Look, don't let anybody put fear in you. If anybody tells you that you are under a curse because you are sleeping with somebody's husband, I say tell the person he or she is lying. He or she is lying. And, and you know, these things coming from me, from where I sit, my position as a reverend minister, my position as a gazetted minister, my position as the only counselor, you know how it's going to sound in your ears, but the truth is not about me. Posterity will judge all of us. A young lady went to a hospital to go and do abortion because she was not ready for the child. There was a midwife whose duty was to counsel the lady not to keep the child or to abort the child. The duty of a midwife in a facility is to explain to them the challenges that you can encounter after this abortion and also get the clarity on their mind why they want to abort you are not supposed to talk them out of abortion but you are supposed to assist them to make informed decision on the abortion this woman sat in the facility and every time she's on duty when you come in there you want to have abortion she will preach Christ to you. She will let you feel so guilty. And you will go. And when the people go, now watch this, the, the funny part or the painful part is that anytime this woman talk people out of abortion, she believes that she has done well. But the girls will leave the facility and go and drink broken bottles. Go and drink concussion. And they destroy their womb. I am not sitting here and endorsing abortion. But I am not the one to cause abortion to stop. Because it is legal and acceptable. But it makes sense. If you can prevent yourself from getting pregnant, not to abort at all. So either you use condom or you stay on contraceptive so that you don't get pregnant to even attempt abortion. Or stick to your cycle well so that you know when you are ovulating. And don't meet a very crazy spermatozoa like my own. My 10 day sperm is dangerous even in my own testicles. I fear myself. I see a lot of writer coming. Funny stories up in here. So a side chick doesn't have any form of a case. Now watch it. The next thing is that if any wife takes a side chick to any shrine, there is no good shrine on earth that can bring any form of curse on any side chick. Never will it happen. Never. We need to teach you the truth. It's not my truth. I also read, read it. I learned it for some time. I had a different idea, but I took my time to go and read more learn more, encounter more and I'm coming in with something that is not friendly to your ears be a profitable side chick and let me tell you what most side chicks are doing for husbands wives cannot do so let me continue the story and if you are poor and watching me as a man and poverty is not relative here if you can't afford in your house, if you cannot give in your house and you attempt a side chick, 
Oba bo Oba bo <laughs> Because the demand from side chicks they are higher than the demand from wives. A ma a, look, a married man's broken heart is more painful than a single man. Like me. If I have a broken heart today, it will be more difficult than when I was not married. Because when a married man is broken hearted as a result of a side chick, you can bleed to death. Congratulations, side chicks. If you're on this page and you're a side chick, clap your hands in your heart, not on the page. Because maybe, 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 maybe the wife of the man you are going out with can be like the woman at Marot Hotel. She will break a wine glass and cut your face. Now, bull. After all, look at me. A handsome man like this, who up to this time doesn't have a side chick. Is it not a disgrace? It's a sign of poverty. And when I'm saying poverty, understand it. Taflache, 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 taflache. Where? Call in the shako se shamo, ka shamo kose. So hear it here. No, you, no, you have encouraged me already. In fact, as you are seeing me like this, I am already looking for a married man who, congratulations, keep looking. Clara, keep looking, for, Clara, keep looking for a married man. But be careful that you find a married man and become industrious. I want to have a side chick that one day can send me one million dollars because I've invested in her. That's what I'm looking up to. So I come to America and in all my struggle, I come and look for a side chick. Then I get somebody and I begin to help the person. You still find me like this. No, 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 no. If you are my side chick and I'm helping you go to school, if you are my side chick, and I'm helping you be, get a better future. I'm expecting that one day, if I don't benefit, meet my daughter and say, you, you don't know me. But if it's not because of your father, I will not be a nurse today. If it's not because of your father, I will not be a teacher today. If it's not because of your father, I will not be in America. For that matter, I give you this thousand dollars for lunch because your father helped me. I'm looking forward to a side chick like that. Not a bedding forever. So Clara, look for a married man. So that is a side chick. And the Bible says that when David decided to build a temple for God, God refused David because David took Uriah's wife. And because God didn't want that child to live, when the child was born, the child was killed so that you don't have a lineage of that particular wrong person. God asked David, if you needed more, why didn't you tell me? So, David didn't build a temple, but gave birth to a son called Solomon. Then Solomon became the greatest companion of God. Even though God loved David more than Solomon, Solomon came to build a temple with the things that the father David brought down. And who was Solomon? Solomon was the man who had the capacity that no man on earth have had so far. Not even Kennedy Japan. You know that Koku Bonsam has more wives than Kennedy Japan. No, have more children than Kennedy Japan. Koku Bonsam has 24 children. Kennedy Japan so far has 15. Clara. Your name sounds like mine. Be careful. <laughs> Clarice. Clarice, why are you warning Clara? Now hear the story very well. So Solomon was able to
to have 300 wives, legal wives, and completed the cycle with 700 concubines and still finished building the temple. Side chicks, you are blessed. But your blessing is in the management of your role as a side chick. Manage your anger. The first thing you need to know to be a successful side chick is to respect the wife of the man you are going out with. And when I say respect, I'm not saying go there every morning. Hello, good morning, Mrs. Lutrat. Reporting for duty. My name is Adwaman Samokola. I am the young lady going out with, with. Please, please. That's not the respect I'm talking about. I'm saying the respect in connection. Is that what Kennedy Japan has 22 children? Oh, is that so? He said 15. But I don't know about 22. I know about 15. I met 15. I don't know if there are more. He has the right to have more than that. He's helping the generation. Kennedy Japan is an influential person. He's supporting so many people. So if you have 22 children, we've not heard that any of the children are working just anyhow without taking care of them. A man who has more children and is taking care of all of them, all of them are trying to go to university and make all of them become greater, builds a community that will help the world. There's nothing wrong with having children out of wedlock. If you have the capacity, go ahead. Thank you, Millicent. If what I'm saying doesn't favor you, you are not welcome at the page. Listen. 10 years. Come back to this video. And you look for me. And give me the spray cornerstone. My name is Counselor George Lutrot. I'm doing this with passion. I have read. I have learned. Because what happened at Marot Hotel. For a woman to carry a bottle. A glass. To slash the face of another woman. Who is a baby mama. It tells me that I have failed my generation with teachings. This woman has not watched my video. You are a side chick. Five years with a man. You have dated somebody's husband. For five years. What can you boast of? That today. If the man is broke. You can help. I'm looking at a day where my side chick will surprise me with a birthday present that we can't announce. But between the two of us, when I see the wristwatch and the price of the diamond wristwatch, I look up and I say, my God is, this girl is a blessing to me. I'm looking at a side chick that will every day pick their certificate. And when they look at the certificate, they'll say, God bless Counselor Lutrot. If it's not him, I already have a first degree. Be a side chick with profit. The first thing is respect the wife of the man you are going out with. Now watch it here. I'm not saying know the wife. I'm not saying have the wife's number. I say respect the wife. Why? Because you are only a side chick because the man you are going out with is married. When the marriage collapses, you are no more a side chick. You become a sex mate. Oh, am I teaching good? If you know I'm teaching good, then you want to say, counselor, go deeper, go higher, and send me something to buy something to eat. You know, keep Montoni here, So, keep me even if you are angry, you know, you can send me $100, $200, and all the money you send me, it will go to my foundation so that I'll help the needy. I can't chop those money. I have what I chop already. By the grace of God, by God's grace, I am not hungry. I am not poor. I am not begging. I am proud of that. I am so fortunate and blessed that I walked on the corridors of America and where to put my head is not on the streets, but by the grace of God, he's blessed, he's blessed me so much to meet right people, very influential, God-anointed, gifted family members. With good hearts. And I tell everyone that my auntie will grow so old that she will be angry she's old. You know why? Hosting me is not easy. But she does. Yesterday I went out with my auntie. Somewhere that I will mention. Everywhere they get to. He said, take this, take this. How? 
Do you have an auntie like that? If you don't have an auntie like that, all you need to do is pray to God that may God release an auntie like that in your family and kill all wicked aunties in your family. Hey, I say greeting so Auntie Kwale. Yes, she's called Auntie Kwale. <laughs> Too sweet. You all, all you need to handle such aunties is patient. Because they are too much for you that they want to protect you. Thank you very much. Kennedy Japan has 22 children. Thank you very much. It's on Google. Wow. Then Kwaku uh, 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 Bonsam has 24. Guess had one recently, so she he's at 25. So it's ahead of Kennedy Japan. But that's okay. I, I my own is so shameful. If I mention the number of my children I have at times, I feel sad. And I've seen a lot of promising, wonderful women who could have been able to produce. You know, my new generation, I need beautiful women to have beautiful children. I see it every day. You know, my wife is there. She she knows about it. She's so beautiful. Oh my God. When you see my children, you become shocked. Because somebody like me, see my face, see my nose. But my children are so sweet. Just because I was fortunate to have a beautiful woman to produce the children for me. So if you are beautiful, please listen to the next part of the conversation. Because the next part will benefit you if you are beautiful. And if you are ugly, I clap for you that you enhance your beauty. That is what Esther did when Vasti misbehaved. Six months of cosmetic is what they did for Esther. Her lips, her face. So when your face is rough, don't say they can't bomb me. Do something about it. You see what my auntie is home? She has a scarf on her head. Immediately we are going out. Then she will say, Maki, buy me wig. Because... Yesterday, you I asked you if you are feeling the smell. When we were just about to go out and it was 3 o'clock, she just put some small perfume behind her ears. And I felt it in the video. I, I want you to understand life. Enjoy life. Don't die before your time. Don't let anybody frustrate you in marriage. Don't throw in the towel because of a man who you think is cheating on you with a certain girl. Don't get envious with a girl who has a flat tummy. One time your tummy was flat. Today, after childbirth, you have a bloated tummy. Don't go to hospital to do lipo for them to remove the fat and put on your buttocks. Don't change your breast size because of the man you are living with and going out with a certain girl. Rather, enjoy your old age and allow the man, if he wants to bless a side chick, once they are not starving you in the house, bless him because... It is better for your husband to live long with you than to leave you as a widow. Look, the widow's conference I attended. I will never forget. More than a thousand people came for the widow's conference. And everybody was happy, but I was sad. Because the youngest widow among the group was 28 years. Why should you come for a widow's conference to come and beg for rice and oil at 28. Today, I'm not dying now. But if I die today, any man that will be ready to marry my wife will never marry an old engine because I am servicing the engine. Even if my wife is asleep and you take her a photograph, her face a sleeping mood. It's like somebody's fresh face walking in town. Now you're here. You know, Dr. Williams, the first time Dr. Williams met my wife, he said, how? I said, Papa, what's the matter? He said, how can, can somebody like you get this beautiful woman like a snake to marry? <laughs> that was Dr. Williams. <laughs> I, I, you know, Dr. Joyce, I met my wife. And when she got close to my wife, my wife said, He said, You are Mrs. Lutrot. He said, me, Oh, here, you fought more on Mufu. I'm not praising my wife, but now you understand why 
I don't like associating myself with ugly people. Every lady around me is beautiful. Huh? Those who have their neck nicely designed. Oh my God. If you meet those who have their face, it's those they dress. And so my environment is full of happiness. I'm living long for this beautiful woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? So a side chick must bring happiness and joy to the man in question. Don't be a burden to somebody's husband. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. Their husbands who walk into their house smiling, happy, because the last message they had before they got out of the car was, Honey, babe, welcome home. Imagine. 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 No, imagine that a message like this from a very beautiful... Look, there are people saying you early morning pictures. My wife will finish dressing and she's leaving the house. And the next thing you see is that you hear crap, you go and see the page. Do I look good? Your wife will dress and you call and ask her, Can I see what I'm wearing? For what? Please, please, I'm late. Please, I'm late. Please, I'm late. I'm late. Then they leave you. But a side chick will wear a dress that you bought for her. She packed down your wife's own. And she will rock and send you a picture. And when you watch her picture, you feel important as a man. If you're watching me, you're a side chick. And you are disturbing somebody's husband. Because you think you have a record of the wife. Repent now. If your anger cannot be managed as a side chick, as I speak, repent now. You don't have to be angry, frequently angry. You know, if you have a side chick who is constantly angry, they kill you more than the wife you have at home. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you this one. <laughs> one of the secrets in life is that once you are a side chick, you will never die as a side chick. But be be, be beneficial to the society you find yourself in. The next thing that you need to know, after respecting the wife of the man you are going out with, the next thing you need to do is learn how to manage your anger. Things that irritate you, don't let them get to you. There are wives today who don't know their husbands well. But there are side chicks who know husbands so well. Are you a side chick watching me? I told you who a side chick is. So now, I have defined a side chick. And I'm writing a book called Side Chick 101. There's a column that looks and tastes with smell of side chicks there's a there's a page in a book called all side chicks are blessed and highly favored by god like evelyn is asking how i'm going deeper deeper because she wrote deeper deeper and i'll go deeper you've listened to my side chick letter before but i don't think you've got this most of you are refusing men from making you a side chick. I would never force you to become a side chick to any married man. No. 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 I'm seeing a very beautiful picture here. And I wish I can post the picture for you to see if this is not something beautiful. How can you see such a picture? 
from a lady who has dressed up walking in town and you not smile and be happy you see the picture and you are happy see how beautiful it is when you wake up and this is what you see are you a side chick your position in the life of your man side chick 101 and pack no size father of all side chicks <laughs> heavily be careful <laughs> Evelyn, if I have to be a father of side chick, then I need to have one. You know, my capacity is not yet up there. I promised myself that one day, one day, I'll have a side chick. Because I want to, to I want to be a proud, my wife calls the men side cock. <laughs> a proud side cock. So if you are a side chick, manage your anger. Number four, remember that your position in the life of the man is not to stress him. Watch it. No side chick must stress any married man. You only have a curse. You only have a bedding. You only have a problem. When you begin to stress somebody's husband you are going out with. The place is quiet. What is stress? The simple definition of stress we learned in school. I think before my first certificate program, they say stress is the wear and tear of life. That's stress. But the type of stress I'm talking about is the second definition. Which is how we react when we feel under pressure or threatened. Don't stress anybody's husband. Side chicks, manage your stress. So know how you react when you are angry. See not it is a sin to stress somebody's husband. It's a sin. You have problems when you stress somebody's husband. Side chick, don't stress anybody's husband going out with you. Don't stress. Don't. The word is don't. And I say stress is the wear and tear of life. But here the other definition. It says when you feel threatened under pressure, when you feel under pressure, you feel threatened. So here is everybody say in the area, I'm going out with you, and I don't like that feeling. Anytime they see your car in my house, people will just be calling my mother and telling my mother things. Me, I can't stand this. So if you can't buy a house for me in the bush, they're not coming visit me again. Anytime I'm standing with you, the way they're eyeing me, I don't like. When I come to your office and people are watching me like that, I don't like the way they are watching me. And the last time your wife saw me in the supermarket, the way she looked at me, me, I don't want anybody to come and do anything to me. Oh, please. Don't stress somebody's husband. It's a decision to be a side chick. Be a side chick. Stress is a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from uh, adverse or demanding circumstances. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you for your definition. So emotional strain. Don't stress anybody's husband. Don't stress me. If I become your side, your side cop, don't stress me. Jesse <laughs> say Hey, this topic. I've not even gone to baby mama's so. And I think we are closing soon. We are closing very soon. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the... Don't stress anybody's husband. You can't be a side chick and cause somebody's husband to die. And when people see your car park in my gate, 
The way they feel, I'm not too happy. So buy a cover to cover your car. And when I come into my house, don't come with the car with the name plates. Councillor one. Everybody know that you have come into my house here. And the way we are, hey, 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 hear me, hear me, hear me. And this is so Oh, now I'm here. Me, 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 me. Eh, oh, yeah. Come and sing the song for me. Obi, now I am. And this is Subu who are both here. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to me. Obi, now I am. So don't stress anybody's husband as a side chick. And in your stress, never compare yourself to the wife of the man you are going out with. You are not a wife. You can be a wife, but as long as this relationship remains, you are a side chick. Say, I am a side chick. I wish I was in a church. Say, I am a side chick. Pick an offering and lift it up to God and say, thank God I am a side chick. Can you do it? Okay. So, 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 if it doesn't concern you, go and sleep. I am teaching good. These are the things that are killing our wives. These are the problems. The worrying of a, a, a loving wife. The, the bleeding of a loving wife. If your wife is an airway, she will die early. If your wife is a gun, she will create a song. If your wife is an Ashanti, there is trouble that she can go and fight. If your wife is a Fanti, she will say, All oh, men are the same. <laughs> You are a wife. Paris. You are a wife. And a side chick can never be compared to a wife. I married my wife for 23 years. She has managed me for 23 years. She has given me sexual intercourse for 23 years. You just came. Six months. And you want to be like her. Aye, aye, aye. So you start the year. And you hear the announcement. I just bought a brand new car for my wife. And I come to you as a side chick. This is how your mood swings have come. Your emotional strain. Your stress have come. Hi, girl. How are you? I'm fine. What's the matter? Is everything okay? Yes. I want to know my position in your life. Kalu, 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 kalu. When I was presenting a car to my wife, you were watching with a fake account. So immediately after the presentation, your mood swing, your face have changed. You can't compare yourself to a wife. You are a side chick because there is a wife. Maintain your line. Don't stress a man. Stress kills the relationship. Choose your communication as a side chick. Hey, today I'm teaching good. You have to learn how to communicate with somebody's husband. My wife is the last topic to be discussed in our relationship. Ah, why do you ask me so many questions? You finish having sex with a side chick. And then the next question she will ask you is, hmm, Hey, I always want to ask you, but I don't know if you have to ask. Then he said, ask, what's the question? Hmm. The way you have sex with me, I ask, is that the same way you do to your wife? Kalu, Kalu, Kalu. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I don't understand. You are a psychic. And every day you are thinking, 
thinking about my wife. What is your problem? And you are stressing me. And last year vacation, I heard you bought a ticket for your wife to go to Dubai. And then you said you gave your wife $50,000 for shopping. I was happy to hear it. This year, I'm not going to Dubai. I want to go to Los Angeles. And I don't need 50000 yo. Me, the economy has changed. I need $100,000. $100,000. If your wife goes to spend $50,000, i am doing too much for you than your wife. So please remember to give me 100000 My sister, who lied to you that you are doing too much for me than my wife? Kalu, 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 Kalu. You are not. I can imagine what is happening to some of you. You wish I'm closing now. I can't treat baby mama today. I'll treat baby mama. God willing, tomorrow. I'll treat it. Because I'll only define baby mama at the last end of my lecture for today. If you have a question, post it now. Share the page and invite people to come and learn. Don't compare. Don't stress the man you are going out with with comparison with so my wife just had a second degree and a side chick will say yes some of us are here even first degree we don't have and you are just sharing i heard you saying that you have paid for the second degree of your wife i am not jealous of it but at least me too you should be interested in my welfare that i will also go and at least have a first degree. Look, what you are saying makes sense. What you are saying is the truth. But the way you are saying it, learn how to communicate with as a side chick. Don't compare yourself to a wife. Every day they talk, will you do this to your wife? Kalu, Kalu, Kalu. Anything I do, then you start crying. You start shedding tears www.theaspirandate.com You start shedding tears. Why are you shedding tears? Will you? Will you ever look at the face of your wife? And insult her like this? I know I'm nobody. Me too. If by this time another man has come to marry me, I'll not be following you as somebody's psychic. God one day, God one day will give me my own husband and this shame will stop. Why do you make me feel bad like that? Hey, hey, Kalu, 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 say Kalu, say Kalu, 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 Kalu. Don't stress any man you are going out with, rather be a successful failure, an achiever as a side chick in the life of a married man. Discussing my wife should be an encouragement to you. For example, how do you discuss my wife? Honey, Sarah Bay. Baby, <laughs> I'm giving names that I wish I'll be called one day. <laughs> the way my wife calls me, at times I don't even give her the chance to even mention my name because I see the way my wife calls me. Eh? If I allow her to call me like that, I'll melt. <laughs> she doesn't know I hear that thing she does. He doesn't know. But I'm saying that the name they give to us as side chicks. If you want to talk about my wife, can we have a good, healthy discussion? That will encourage me to give you money to go and do your bottles. Please, what do you do when your side chick is pregnant? Oh my God. And wanted to be married and, want, and wanted you to marry her. Good question. And this question should have come tomorrow. Because tomorrow we are going to discuss baby mama. But 
my friend, listen to me. Lamte, once you have come, I will answer this for you. So remember, I will not forget the question. I will address it as the last part of my conversation. Any other question as I wrap up? So remember, I said, don't stress the man you are going out with. Don't give him stress. Don't give him stress. You graduate her to a, <laughs> her, Clarice, eh? the oldest follower of Councillor Lutrot. This year, we are awarding, follow, we are 10 years with Orgasm Conference. And we started Orgasm Conference with Clarice. If God blesses me, some of the plans we are putting in place, we want to give people an award for their loyalty in following Councillor Lutrot. With all the insult, with all the fights, with all the misunderstanding, with all the disgrace, the ridicule, they have stayed with me. And not just stayed, but they have contributed to the brand Councillor Lutrot. They deserve an award. And I'm going to do something like President Kufuor did. 50 cents. Even me, I will award myself for doing the conference. Me, me. I will, you see, there will be an award. That, that they'll mention my name. The, the longest speaker of, of, of orgasm conference for the past 10 years. A vociferous host. The wisdom person who has read and moved this conference for years. Ladies and gentlemen, this award goes to Reverend Counselor George Woodross, you know, and me myself in my own program, I will receive an award. You think I'm a fool? I will award myself <laughs> December 25th. It will be Punso in Ghana. And the award will be presented by Shatawale to me because he told me. A good plated award and i'll receive it and when i finish i will award some people who have been loyal who look at those who have been loyal on social media when i come not then they come people like cheba for when i come not then they can be like hello you know kenneth won the last year kenneth won the best follower he had a mobile phone he had some uh, some uh, cooking you tell what we not sure she had to be home saving i'm going to do that this year and this year I'm going to put pressure on my auntie to buy the most expensive gift from America for the person. You know why? I'll tell baby Mark to buy a car for the person. You know baby Mark? Yes. Baby Mark must buy. It's a day money. Look. We'll buy a car. For the first time, we'll award the best follower of Council Lutron with a car. Every car is a car. It could be a toy car. It's a car. Once it's four times, it's a car. Kao ka. 25th December, orgasm conference. We are 10 years. And we're going to award loyalty now. So you twenty-fifth December. <laughs> I don't see that. You are laughing. <laughs> well, I didn't want to I didn't want to say this. There's somebody else we have to award. And may her soul rest in peace. Who award my mother the orgasm conference one of the people that have called me i don't get emotional call me straight he says my son come i went to my account and i took this five thousand take it to go and help you do the orgasm conference my mom gave me this money to go and organize the conference in the same month my mom gave me the money before the 25th day to have the conference in that year most of you were there my mom died on 23rd and that was not the first time my mom would do gizzard she my mom too deserves an award so i will award my mother in the grave when they mention my mother's name, my senior sister will come and collect and will take that word to my house. One day, I'll build a house and name the house after my mother. 
because she has done well. <laughs> Bismarck is there. This year, I'm doing a lot of awards. But I'll award myself to 10 years of fighting, 10 years of surviving. I have done too much. I'm telling you, it told me. The lies about me, I'm a thief, I'm an occultic person, I am chasing people's wife, I'm sleeping with girls, I'm in a hotel like this. Every bad thing they want to say, they say about me. There are times I'm going to get sponsorship. Somebody will call the owner of the company and tell the person, don't give this man the sponsorship. I'm telling you, I came to America, had $20,000 contracts. Somebody in Ghana told the person, don't give him the contract because he doesn't talk to Nana Banamwa. He doesn't talk to Yvonne Nelson. He doesn't talk to this one. So he's a bad brand for you. And the man canceled the deal. I came back to Ghana. I still organized the conference. I have suffered and I deserve to be awarded. So this year, I'm going to do an award for myself. And when you hear that I'm receiving the award, clap your hands for me. Follow me. And come and shout the next morning. Ghana Web will report all the bloggers report. Councillor Lutwot award himself for organizing 10 years conference. Yes, a fable town she will quit. And some people in America will be awarded too. Millicent Nana Bedin, thank you for clapping for me. Eight Tommy Millicent. And one thing I will never forget about Millicent Millicent says, Councillor, where where you go and check the old video the first time she saw my show she been watching behind and she came to write counselor where were you that we have suffered like this and ever since Millicent entered my system she's better off today spiritually physically materially and relationship wise her bp is gone so side chick i have not ended because the book is 101 the points are many i've not even treated security maybe god willing tomorrow if i have the chance i might be telecasting again on side chick 101 is it difficult to be a side chick or a baby mama Remember, we got to a point where I said, don't stress the man. Don't stress the man. Remember, stressing the man destroys the relationship. Don't be moody. Manage your anger. People are talking, and you are going out with me. And people are saying everywhere, they are sleeping with me. Me, I'm tired. I can't stand them again. And they will start the religious gymnastics. And when I go to church, I can't pray. When they are praying and saying, if you are sleeping with somebody's husband, God punish you. Pray against it. And I see your wife lifting the hands and telling God, kill, oh, kill. kill. <laughs> oh my God. Wrapping up, I'm closing for tonight. www. Three W's. Diasporandate.com. You want to come to America? You want to marry somebody in America? Go on the website right now and register. It's a good, solid website. You need a Ghana card. You need your social security card in America. And solidly, your background check will be done. And you will be married and become part of the people who are going to heaven. Because heaven will start in America. If you've not been to America before, Going to heaven will be very difficult for you. Come to America. And you can easily go to heaven. <laughs> side chicks. May God bless you and give you patience. Some side chicks have lost the greatest opportunity in their life. Because they go to church on Sunday. And when they come back from church, we are all in trouble in their relationship. You call them, hello girl. Are you back from church? How was church, darling? Charlie, church was okay, but today I'm down. Why, girl? Can I see you? 
Anytime your side chick tells you, can I see you? There's trouble and fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. There is a fire on the mountain. I, I don't know how to say this, but today at church, I was embarrassed. I was sad the whole time the pastor was preaching. I was feeling guilty in my heart. The pastor made me feel bad that if I'm going out with any married man, I will suffer. I am suffering because I'm going out with you. And the one talking, you are not paying your rent. I pay your rent for you. You are going to school. I'm paying your school fees. Every week, I spend more than 2,000 Ghana cities on you. I buy you credit. I buy you data. I have bought a car for you. So the pastor just told you that. You are suffering because you are going out with me. So all these things you are talking about. I'm going to withdraw the rent. I'll, I'll collect the house from you. I'll take my car away from you. I will not give you money for the week again. And be, because you see, if the pastor says you are going out with somebody's husband, that's why you are suffering. Define the suffering. Define the suffering. I've been paying your fees from level 100. You are just about to graduate. I'm not saying graduate and come and marry me. I'm just supporting you as a side chick. We have sex together. There's a relationship going on. Then you go to church and come and call me for a meeting because you feel guilty. I am not saying don't feel guilty, you, but if your guilt will bring me stress and pressure, learn how to manage your stress. So like I said, don't compare yourself to the wife. Don't use your stress to stress the man. Is it difficult? As I ask the question, to be a side chick. Smell good. Feel good. Be a side chick that doesn't ask for things. Let a need be seen in your life so that it is met. Remember, the fact that you are excited to a married man doesn't give any married man the right to use your house as their house. No, 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 no. The right to come to the house I rent is reserved by you. That is why every side chick should only entertain the side cock on invitation. So tomorrow, we'll let you understand your role as a married man going out with a single girl. That her house is not your house. That you can go there anytime. You can go there anytime. When your side chick has granted you the audience. Remember, it is not because you are the side cook. You control the breath of a side chick. Side chick, allow yourself to be loved. Enjoy the love of somebody's husband. Don't forget, you are there because the man is married. If you desire to also become one of the wives of the man, is there anything wrong with it? That is another topic for discussion. But remember, I ended on don't stress the married man you are going out with. Religious stress economic stress physical stress mental stress don't maybe let me say this don't stress the man with other women around the place because a side chick can stress you with other friends around her and and i don't understand the way we started the relationship was just that you saw me on the staircase and you admire me and today we are going out I see that you see you 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 look at my friend the same way. Hey, side chick, you are jealous. Even the wife of the man have relaxed for you to use the husband. Look at how jealous you are that your friend can come and use the same man. Kalu. Me neighbor. I told you I'm going to do an interview with my auntie today. The auntie and the, and the son. Maybe I'll bring it. But hear me as I wrap up today.
My time is up. It has even passed. You've done well. You stayed awake until this time. It's 12 midnight in your house. Welcome to another day. Finally, to be a side chick is not difficult. If you can do the following that I have just dealt with. My number is 862-571-3950. Subscribe to my Facebook right now by going to press the follow button right now. And go to my YouTube because this video will go straight to YouTube right now in the next few minutes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Counselor Lutrox. It's there. And if you want to talk to me, because you are going through a challenge, either you are a side chick or you are a wife that is bleeding because of a side chick, call me, 862-571-3950. Don't die in a dying relationship. So, the side chick is pregnant and wants you to marry her. Should you marry her or not? Don't marry anybody because of pregnancy. Marry people because the environment is conducive and you want them to be a wife. I've answered your question, my brother. Who is a baby mama? Any woman who has a child for a man is a baby mama. Whether the man is married or not married, you are a baby mama tomorrow we'll go to how to be a baby mama is it difficult to be a baby mama and as for baby mamas we have categories of baby mamas you can be a baby mama to a married man a baby mama to an unmarried man or a baby mama to an unknown father tomorrow i will delve into it i'm grateful how about a young man going out with a married woman how do you call them is still the same side chick. They are still side chick. Or Millicent says they are side cock. It's Millicent, write it. www.diasporandate.com Subscribe now. Side cock Doreen says once a married man is going out with an unmarried boy, that boy is a side cock. I don't know about that. But I heard a side cock for the first time from my wife. Who says men are side cock. Once the person is married, it's still a side chick. So it's a chick, a concubine. But hardly do you find married women going out with people out of their marriage. It happens, but it's real. It's not common. Remember, no man will have a side chick because they have a bad marriage. They have side chicks because they want to be happy and live long. Don't stress any man in your life it is not difficult to be a side chick ginger honey chips 862 215 2007 862 215 2007 call right now in the u.s order your ginger honey chips and it will be at your doorsteps asap god bless you live long if you have a prayer to do any day you pray, pray for the man you are going out with. Don't think about sin for the man you are going out with. Rather, pray that God will keep the two of you longer, better, that you grow well. My page can't open again. Please check it out for us. How? What page? Minister, what page? Is it a WW? Is that what cannot open? Is it a diaspora date.com medicine quickly as I wrap up? Which page cannot open? Is it a ww.diaspora date.com? Is that a page that cannot open? Please help me. But it's a page that is supposed to be there. If somebody have hacked it, please let me know, Millie, so I can call the company right now. They are in the US so that they do something about it. Yes, please. Okay. Millicent, thank you very much. I will work on that immediately. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my loved one. God bless all of you. Doreen, I know how your sleep is sweet for you. But you have waited. I love you, girl. 
You're, 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 you're an inspiration to me. Thank you very much. God willing, I'll see you again. Same time, same hours, and we'll enjoy ourselves. All side chicks, come and read. Come and learn. So that at the end of the day, it will become better for you. Well, Millie, the site is working. So check it again. Diasporandate.com is working. I open it right now, Millie. www.diasporandate.com is working. I just went on the site. Just go, you see the site like this? And you can register. When you go to the site, it goes like love and culture. Love and culture. Love and culture. You see it? Love and culture. And then you go here. Click here to start. And then the, the, the template opens for you. Register and come to America as a wife. Try it again. It can open now. We will see you. We will see you. I saw something. Let me read that when I go. We will see you seated eating tomorrow. <laughs> this statement is deep. Clarice, this statement you are saying is deep. It's like a thousand dollar statement. Clarice, be careful I don't charge you. But what about this? Thank you for being here for me. I love you all. May God bless you. May God keep you. If there's anything you are doing that is making you grow bad and feel bad, may the Lord give you strength to fight it. Any challenge you are in, in any marriage, whether it's by childbirth, your children. Kokulumo, my elder brother just came. I miss you, Koku. Thank you for coming. Please, cheers to all of you. Be a helpful side chick to somebody's husband so that God will bless you. Good night. Good afternoon. Good evening. Remember, if you want to come to America, www.diasporandate.com Register now with your Ghana card. Register in America with your social security card and we'll do the back check. Then we release you to go. Write the website. Who says that? Somebody said write the website. Millicent is there. The website is www.diasporandate.com. It's correct. Good night. See you at the other side. Please, if you want to send me money, send it, let me enjoy it now. 055-000-5077 is MTN number. 055-000-5077. And then if you want to send it in America, 862-215-2007-0. And you want to send Tigo, 0277 six zero nine six four four i'm grateful jane akoshiana i see all of you thank you for your support as for you jane god will bless you 14 years of supporting the brand counselor Lutwort. that's what jane has done 14 years 14 one four is how that girl has given her life to me this orgasm conference will be an award ceremony and as for Akushana, you don't need an award. The only thing you need is oh thanks to you, Doreen. Thanks for my TikTok. Good night. I'll see you. Bye.